That's all for the moment. Thank you. Simon mentioned another greenhouse on the farm. Must be up the hill over there. I wonder if James knows this is here. Don't know what it is, but it'd be interesting to see what he says about it. Questions, if that's okay. Ever hear the phrase "free to be free"? Heard anyone use that? No. What is it? A song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Could you tell me what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Be snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called investigating, James. Yeah, it's just mint, mint leaves for cooking. Yeah, I uh, I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Dabble a bit, won a few competitions. Very impressive. So you normally just leave packets of mint lying around. Must have dropped it. Later on, if that's okay. heard the phrase free to be free do you mean the atlas thing yes i have know what it means it means being free of guilt what do you think about that you mean do i think it's a bad thing do you i mean surely if you have done something wrong oh but that's the point inspector most people spend their time feeling guilty over nothing and that's not a good thing Do you know what these are? Ah, oh, magic mint. Where did you find this? Magic mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, I don't even take medicines. I um, I like to stay pure. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself, but I'm not so sure.
Thank you. Probably be back later. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? Was that skin cream? It's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of Salvia? No. Your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. Well, I've still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia? Didn't say that. So you have? Maybe. And you do grow it? Yeah, it's legal. Why not? What do you do with it? I use it for explorative purposes, meditation. And does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it? To anybody else? Sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only drug you grow, is it? Feel free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. The only drug he grows? <laughs> Not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? When you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded salvia tea with Simon for his homebrew? So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Did you give it to anybody else? How many people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about Liam? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. Didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. OK, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. If you don't know about Third Eye, you know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. And I got rid of them, single-handed. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look! They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know. We can make your life better sort of crap. Then they were putting everyone through this brainwashing program to make them compliant and selling them on. It's all there. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Objects, commodities. To who? To anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? Third Eye were making and selling slaves. They were black market slave traders. They were wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. Millions. And I'm talking per slave. That's why anyone who stood up to them and threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. They didn't give a damn. 
so you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. So I started looking into it. <laughs> they were all saying it was suicide, but there's, there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? Well, it's obvious you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. And I can tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. I mean, US military used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented. You can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but, but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate it. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Well, that was a lot to take in. Does James really believe all this stuff? This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this before? Don't take any notice of that. Why? James Wilson is a fantasist. He spends his time pretending to cast spells in the woods. He's not exactly a stable person. And, um, I heard that he was involved with growing cannabis. Really? Well, don't quote me on that. So you don't think there's any truth at all to this? None at all. Thank you. Probably be back later. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know the phrase, free to be free? Yeah. It's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? 
They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. No? No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. You know what these are, by any chance? No. Sorry. I I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She'd know. Ever heard of Salvia divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah, a hallucinogenic drug. Ever tried it? No. No, I've never taken any illegal substances. Have you seen this? Yeah. It was all over college last year. James made it. Idiot. So you don't agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't agree with anything James says. He's absolutely crazy. He thinks that the government has been controlled by aliens and that we're all bugged. He's nuts. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Know what these are? No. Look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before, though. Not at all, no. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia divinorum. Uh, no, magic mint, same thing. Oh yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've ever tried it. But well, once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other drugs either. One, well, nothing like that. Nothing hallucinogenic. Have you seen this before? Oh, is this the thing that James did? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. What do you know about all this? A third eye, I think they were called? I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I've heard about Liam's death, but all I know about three eyes or whatever is, is on this fire. So you hadn't heard about third eye? No, sorry.
be back later on, if that's okay. Questions, if that's okay. Do you know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things, <laughs> growing things. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Salvia divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Athens. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. 